Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, let me put you up in your regular spot. There we go. Happy day, everybody. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, I'm just here. Woke up a little while ago. I have my tea in this mug. All this. And brains, too. I don't really know what it means. I got it at a thrift store. I don't know. I have my peppermint tea in here. Um, I don't know what I'm doing today. Again, yesterday's vlog was very boring. Sorry. Sorry about it. Sorry. But no, today I actually want to do a couple things. I do want to start cleaning off that bookshelf. I want to put more books on there. I want to spread it out or something. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. It's not that interesting. You probably got, you guys probably don't care, you know? Um, but I want to try doing that today. Um, just like the two bottom shelves. Those are the catch-alls. I want to kind of clean off some stuff that's just fallen there that maybe stuff I don't want anymore that have been there for more than like five months that I just uh, never used or ordered for videos and never used or tried or anything like that. That's a lot of the stuff that's down there. Plus my Easy Bake Oven, which I'm keeping that. I just want to like set it up better. I don't know. Because one day I want to get more Easy Bake Oven stuff and try it out in the Easy Bake Oven. Yeah, so that's really it. I have my tea. I don't know what I want for breakfast. I have no idea. I'm like not hungry, like at all. Like I'm not like, like I'm thinking of all the stuff we have and I'm like, eh. I'm really like not in the mood for it. Like I was like, oh, my peanut butter and crackers. And I was like, eh. And then I was thinking, oh, I have that soup in there. And then I was like, eh. And then I was thinking like, ooh, deep fried Oreos. And I was like, eh. Like I'm not hungry. I don't have an appetite this morning. I don't know. I don't know, I'm very thirsty. So I don't know, but maybe I'll get a hunger or craving in a little bit, but as far as right now, I do not have one. I don't have one. So that's my story, guys. I'm in my robe, my long robe. I got this robe like three years ago for a New Year's Eve party where we wore pajamas, because we used to do that when we were able to have parties and all that. So I got this robe, but like I had silk pajamas under it and I had my hair done. And then people would come in like onesies and their pajamas and it was really fun. But it's really long, it like goes down to my ankles. I don't know why I told you that, like he's care. I think I'm just gonna go chill, see if I drink some water, cause I'm thirsty. And it's snowing, it's coming down. When I tell you it's coming down, hold on, I'll show you. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is snowing way more than it did yesterday. I have to say that way more and way faster than it did yesterday. Yesterday it was like snow and spurts and it wasn't like this heavy. So it is snowing. I don't know what I'm about to go do, but I'm gonna go do it. I have to let the dogs out, which is so funny because they were just playing that song on the TV. I hope I didn't get that because then I'll get like copyrighted. Like I care, I'm not monetized. Don't really care, don't really care. But that's what I'm gonna go do. I'll check in in a little bit. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry in the least bit, but I will check in a little bit later. Bye-bye. Hey guys. <clears throat> yes, I did my hair and makeup. I started doing it and just couldn't stop. So here it is, here it is. I have to vent. Because it's been on my mind. If you don't want to hear me vent, I put a time down below, skip ahead. But I have to vent about this. Because it's just been on my mind. Because, okay. First, my mistake. I'll admit that. I shouldn't go on Facebook. Facebook is a breeding ground for many uneducated people who don't fact check themselves or fact check in general, just read a headline and think it's true. I hate going on there. I think it's dumb, but I do go on because I like to check my fa my YouTube's Facebook page, which doesn't get a lot of stuff on it or anything like that. I barely post on it, but I do like to check it. And of course, I don't have any self-control, so it's hard for me not to go on Facebook and just look around. I like to share funny things. I have family on there that live far away, that are pretty cool, that I like to share stuff with. So, I've just been having you on my mind. I was gonna, oh, and by the way guys, sorry. I'm just eating another spinach salad. Nothing too exciting. But, it's been heavy on my mind the past two weeks because in the past week, no, not two weeks, in the past week, I have seen two weddings. Two weddings happen. Two weddings happen, not not a mask in sight. I've seen the reception, seen it all, blah, blah, blah. And it just, it irritates me. Like, guys, we are still in a panorama. Like, it's still going on. 
I mean, even this summer, people were going to beaches and going on vacations and still going away. And this one wedding I just saw, they're on vacation now for their honeymoon. Like, hello, this isn't over yet. Like, it's not over yet. There are people out here suffering and following the rules and trying to get through this. And you're selfishly having big gatherings like a wedding and going on vacation. And for what? Like, for what? There are people that are, are postponing their weddings because they don't feel it's right to do it. People are postponing certain things or having virtual things, which I know sucks. It sucks. I completely understand it. But you're not, you're not helping any by doing that. Like, it just bothers me because I have followed the rules. I've been out to eat three times since last March. Three times. I went once for JB's birthday with my sister-in-law, and we were the only people in the place. Still felt guilty. Went for lunch with my aunt and my mom. There was some people in the place still feel guilty, though. And then the other day, I went with my mom, and while you're sitting there, you just feel a little guilty because it's still going on, and I understand that these restaurants have to make money. The restaurant that we were at, they were bombarded with to-go orders. God bless. I hope you are. You know, people need to eat, and I understand that, too. It's not about restaurants it's not about that's like that's a whole nother story i don't own a restaurant never will never want to work in one again people are gross but that's between the restaurant the bars and the government they should be getting aid they should be getting help just like we all should but the vacations the baby showers the weddings even concerts there's like concerts going on and celebrities are having birthday parties and I, like, it's just, it's crazy to me. And don't be wrong. You may say, well, Dante, you had your two friends over this past weekend. Yeah, but our circle is small. If I were to contact it, I would know who I was around since I contact you, either contact them or let them or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mean to vent about it because I could be, it's a, been a year. It's like a broken record. It really is. But just how selfish people could be. It boggles my mind. It just really does. And the parties and all of that. Yes, did I have friends over this past summer? Yeah. But there was no more than 10 of us. No more than 10 of us. I had it small for a reason. There was no more than 10 of us. I didn't even go to big gatherings that my friends were having. I mean, well, some of them were my decision. Some of them were that I was sick. But still, I still didn't go. Because I'm trying to do my part. Like, right now, I would never think, you know what? JB, let's have a renewal of our vows. Invite 100 people. Let's do it. Blah, blah, blah. No. That's, like, the last thing on my mind. It really is. Because this is still going on. Like, And I was going to post about it on Facebook. I was going to say, like, well, I'm happy to see people are just... Living their lives. I'm so happy to see they're just living their lives. Sort of care in the world. Having weddings. Having all this. And blah, blah, blah. And it's like the same people. That miss certain things. Like, okay. It's the same people that say, I can't wait for this to be over. Or I wish we, we could go back to the simpler times. Or I wish this or I wish that. They're the same people that don't wear a mask. Wear a mask below their nose, wear it below their chin, not at all. They're the same people, but what they're not understanding is it's an oxymoron. You're saying, I wish this would be over and I wish we'd go back to simpler times, yet you're not putting an effort into not spreading it or getting it. I mean, and there were there is several people that I've seen that have called this all a hoax. And like, blah, blah, blah. But then they're the same people. And I don't even mean to laugh because it's not, it's not funny. But they're the same people that then have loved ones die from it. Like, what? How does that make sense? In all honesty. And this isn't a political rant. It's not. Because I could really care less. I could really care less. I'm saying I just think it's selfish that people are just, oh, and going to bars. No masks, no self. Oh well, eventually, how can you drink a beer in a bar with no mask or with a mask on? I'm not saying that. 
And I'm saying, I don't think going to a bar is a priority right now. It's not a necessity. Restaurants, sure. Okay, you want to keep it. But like bars, no. I don't think that's a necessity right now. Drink at home. It's cheaper. Like, I just, I just don't get it. I don't know. I had a rant because it's been bothering me because I'm trying to follow the rules. I really am. And I don't, I can't afford to get sick. I can't afford, we, we can't afford that. So we're doing everything we possibly do to not get sick. But it's so funny to me, the amount of people that I see out. Like when I went to Walmart with my mom real quick. We didn't peruse. We didn't walk around and like look at stuff. We weren't there on like a Sunday stroll. We went in, got our stuff, left. That was it. I didn't want to peruse. I didn't want to look around. I wanted to get out of there. The amount of people that walk around with their masks down below their nose that say they can't breathe, it just cracks me up. I could breathe just fine. I could breathe just fine. I don't know. And I don't get it. I don't get it. It has nothing to do with my age. It has nothing to do with that. It's just something for them to complain about. They're being told that they have to do something. They want to defy it. It's something so simple. So simple. But they want to defy it. That's where we're at, guys. I was going to say I'm sorry. I'm not. But I need a rant. Love you. I'll see you in a little bit. So, and now that my rant is over, I do just want to say that's just my opinion. I don't want anything said in the comments. I just... I have to worry about what I'm doing. So that's the whole thing. That's the moral of the story. I have to start worrying about what I'm doing and stop worrying about what everyone else is doing. As long as I'm doing what I think is right, is right. Maybe they think what they're doing is right. Who cares? I just want this to be over. Anyway, this is the sh the t these two shelves, this one right here and this one down here are the two shelves I was talking about that just catch everything now. They just catch everything. Like, um, here's bags, like, here's that one bag I got that was, like, eco-chic, that was, like, good for the environment, and it's biodegradable. I got this, like, several months ago. I think I used it once. The only thing I don't like about it is my wallet can't fit in it, but I only used it once, but I guess it's still pretty. It's still a part of my collection. The bags, getting them off here is not what I'm worried about. I just have them here because I don't have any more room on my bag shelves, which is why I said I have to reorganize them. So mostly it's just like three of these bags. Like here's the one I got from FabFitFun. It's like a backpack. I'm not, it has dust on it. I'm not that big of a fan of it. I'm really not. I should keep this out just to give it to one of my friends when they come over because I'm just, I don't, it's too small. It's too small for me. Then I have my nine West bags sitting here, which is, I stuff with like um, shopping bags to keep the shape of them, but my nine West bag. And then I have my guest bag here. I love this bag. This is a gift from JB for our anniversary. It's like the most expensive bag that I have. Yeah, I started using this bag and I, I know you're supposed to get bags to use them. Oh, I have to get off my feet to use them, but like, it was starting to, uh, why am I just going lower? It started to damage it, and I don't want to damage it. So, like, it got, like, a couple cuts certain places, but this isn't, like, an all-the-time bag. This is, like, a special bag. You know what I mean? So these bags I'm not worried about, because, like I said, I just need to find spots for them on my bag shelves, which, like I said to y'all, I have to reorganize anyway, but I'm going to do that at some point either this weekend or next week. So I get these bags off here because I want to bring down everything. Like, I want to, like, because there's so much stuff on these top shelves that from, like, past videos and some Little Mermaid stuff and that stocking, which I still have to put away. I keep forgetting. And then the top shelf up there. But I want to start bringing everything down to free up space up there so we can put more books on here because we do have more books. Like this is one of the things that I don't know what to do with. I got these for my channel to have more lighting and they're really cool. And they were on sale from, I got these so long ago. I got these in the beginning of summer and I tried them out and I'm just not the biggest fan of them, but they're like that. And there's two of them in here. And then you like, there's a cord and then you get, I think I have it right here. 
And then you get one of these and you plug it in, but I don't know what to do with them. Cause they're A, they're not as bright as I thought they were gonna be. And B, that when you plug both of them in, they could only go so far. So that's why I got the double plug so I could plug both of them in. I might put them on behind our DVDs. I don't know, That's but this is like another thing that's just sitting on the shelf dying here because I don't know what to do with them. So I could put them behind our DVDs. That would look pretty cool. And it does have a remote, so you'd be able to not have to move them or change them or anything. So that's something I would like to do. Again, stuff I've bought in for videos are on here. I have still the box from, it's empty, but the box that the cups came in from our Veggie Pals. And actually, Amy, you're inspiring me to do this because I saw your little organizational video this morning. And I was like, you know what? I got to do that too but I have this box, but I want to keep this box because I just love it. And I actually have the cups over there and I hate to say this and don't get mad, but I hate to use them because I don't want them to get ruined or broken or anything. So I want to like kind of display them on top of the box on the bookshelf. So they're like displayed because they're, I collect it. So I, I kept the box from that. I have stuff for my channel. When I did challenges, I have this little thing, which I don't know what to do with because I'm not doing challenges anymore, but I have this little doodad. This is for when I film with my iPad, so that stays over here. I still have the crickets from when we tried the crickets. I just save them just in case anyone wants to come over and is curious about what they taste like. I don't even know if they're still good anymore. 2 22, 21 So in like, what, what's today? So in like three days, these are going to be expired, so I could get rid of those. Thank you, D-Diets. I love you. I have another bag over here. It's a Nine West Cheetah Clutch. Love this. And I kept this out here because I wanted to use it more, but I haven't been going anywhere to use it. So it just sits here on the shelf. I have Little Mermaid books that I want to display. I have the Spanish Villains book that I had open on top of my desk to the Ursula page, but I got rid of my desk because I wasn't using it that often. And now this just sits over here, so I want to be able to prop this up. I don't even know if it would fit in any of these, but I wanted to like prop it up or something. There's recipes. There's stuff I got for videos back here, which I think in these vlogs, I'm just gonna pull out and we're just gonna try them. I have this from the company that was sending me stuff to try. I love this actually, but I already have one, but I wanna start using this one because it's so pretty. It's like a facial hair remover. Oh, and I still have the candy corn from when we did the turkey dinner taste test with Sam. Still have that. But this little face trimmer is so pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. I love it. And I already have one in the bathroom, but I want to start using this one. And like I said, it just sits over here. And I need it for my nose hairs. It's the truth. I need it for my nose hairs. Over here, which I think we could try today. We'll try it. Let me just grab it and we'll go into the kitchen. It's this lip care serum. I think it's supposed to blow up your lips, but it was like one of the things I got to pick when they were sending me stuff to try. So I picked this because I thought, oh, I'll try it on my channel and I never got a chance to. So let's go into the kitchen. We're gonna try this, see how it works. And throughout the week, I'm just gonna be cleaning this out and we'll be trying products that I haven't had a chance to try before and that have just been sitting over here. So let me go into the kitchen, I'll be right back. Y'all are in your little position. So this is what it says, it's Lanbina. Lanbina, and then it says L-S-O-F-L-A-V-O-N-E Lip Serum. This lip essence is designed for the lips. It's not re re recommended to use in other areas. Where else would you use this? Let's see, it says to apply two to three times a day. I don't know if this is a lip plumper though. I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. The top's all sparkly. Mm, it smells like vanilla. We'll be able to know right away if it's a lip plumper. Because you'll start to feel that tingle. And I'm starting to feel that tingle. But yeah, I got this a while ago and I never used it before. It's on Amazon. So I'll see if it works. I have that chapstick that I really like. I, uh, where is it? I said I really like that chapstick and I know I can't even find it. It's that one that I got in a um, Ipsy bag. That's another bag I have over there. It's that Ipsy bag with all the makeup I'll never use. Like, 
I just have to like pack it all up and just give it away. I wonder what's in there, hold on. Oh yes, now I remember what's in here that I kept from that. I can get it out, that superhero mascara. I'm gonna keep that out because I'm gonna try that maybe tomorrow. And that brush, that's all that's in here, but I could use a new brush, so that's good. Okay, so at least I know I'm cleaning that out. This is tingling, it is tingling. It is tingling. So guys, I'm going to go throw this footage on my laptop and I'll check back and see, but they are, it is tingling. I can feel a tingle, like up here, I can feel a tingle, and down here. Like on the edges of my lips, I can feel a tingle. Okay, so I'm gonna go do that and we'll check back to see what's this, what this is doing, okay? Okay, so it's been an hour. There, I still feel a tingle, but it's not like it was. It's like very faint now. I don't know, I really can't tell the difference. That's just me, guys. I can't really tell the difference. I'm just gonna make this quick. I'm actually editing today's vlog, and it's pretty long, so sorry about it. But yeah, I don't notice any difference. I mean, it is staying on really long. I mean, it's been an hour, and it's still there, so it's not like coming off. I mean, I haven't drank anything or eaten, ate anything to have it come off, but it's still on there after an hour, and it's still on there. Very long lasting, and like I said, I still feel a little tingle. Hopefully I'm not having an allergic reaction to it. I doubt it. I think by now I would know. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I don't know. But my lips feel good. It's long lasting. And so, hey, I give it a, I give it a 10. It, never, it did say it was a lip plumper, but I didn't think it was going to be like lip venom. Like it was going to be like, rah, and like attack you, like really plump up your lips. But guys, thanks for joining the day with me today. Like I said, we're going to be cleaning out those shelves. We're going to be cleaning out those shelves, trying new things, all that. Thank you for watching, and until the next one. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing my new cardigan. Woo, my comfy cardigan. But I love you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. You. Bye-bye. <laughs>